Reducing drawing lag in OpenTunes Auto Home with 2D can be just down to the power or lack of in your computer. But there are some things you can do. And here's three tips. First, turn down your smoothing. So if you use vector or tunes raster levels, you might find that the smoothing option here is turned up. And that's fine if you want your lines to be smoothed out as you draw. But smoothing has to introduce drawing lag to be able to smooth the line out. And the higher the smoothing, the higher the lag. So if you have lag, this is the first place to check that it's the right value. And with it turned off, the line should follow your pointer precisely, giving you accurate lines. But this will include any hand wobble that you might have. So to smooth out any wobble, just turn it up a little bit and then your lines will be smoother. And generally, I find that I use between 10 and 20 as a fair compromise when I want smoothing. But I leave it off the rest of the time. So tip one is, check the smoothing setting. And in fact, it's good general practice to check out all of the options on the options toolbar for each tool when you use it for the first time in a session, because you might have needed different settings the last time you used it. Okay, so tip two, if you've got lag, try using the default brush to see if that draws quicker. So it's fun to use the vector and my paint brushes. They can give your lines character and can help while adding texture to your drawings. But they can sometimes run a little slower than the default brush. So as a test, try creating a new palette entry. And this will start off with a default brush. And as we've just said, make sure that smoothing is turned down fully and then try drawing with that to see if it helps. And it might be that to reduce the lag, you have to use the default brush. Or you could just accept that to use these brushes, you will get lag and have to draw slower, at least until you can work on a different computer. So I have one more tip for you, but do stay tuned to the end where I'll have a bonus tip that might just help. Okay, so tip number three, only enable preview in the main viewer when you really need to use preview. And when I say the preview in the main viewer, I mean this eye shape button at the top right of the drawing area, which OpenTunes calls the viewer. And note that it's the first eye button that you would normally use to preview the whole camera view. The second eye button is used to preview only part of the camera view. So why would you preview? Well, it's a way to see any effects that you've added, to calculate your vector lines and render them, and for OpenTunes to cache all of this so that your animation plays nearer to the full speed. But this calculation does take some time, so you don't want to leave it on for longer than you need. So this tip is simply to remember to turn it off when you don't need it. And I'll talk more about using the previewer next week. So do subscribe and hit the bell so you're notified of when that comes out. So that's my three main tips for reducing lag, but don't go anywhere just yet, I have more. And if you found these tips useful, I'd love it if you give this video a thumbs up so the video can be recommended to more viewers. And if you've got any tips to improve drawing lag, then do let me know down in the comments below. And check out the comments for other users' tips. You might just find the tip that helps you. So one final tip is that some features of OpenTunes take advantage of your graphics card. And in this video here, you can add a 3D profile for both OpenTunes and Tahoma 2D and this makes working with previews and also rendering much quicker. So try out these tips and I'll see you next week. And that's a guarantee.